Hi guys, this is jsnl.com and boy do we have something special for you. It's the first clamshell foldable phone from Huawei, Huawei P50 Pocket, the premium edition, the fashionable one. Co-designed with a haute couture designer, something truly special for the fashionistas. Now this device was unveiled uh, just this month and uh, was actually last month and we have it here finally. Uh, it should debut in Europe close to the end of January and here we go. Now, so far Huawei has had a few phones, uh, foldable phones, which were more business oriented, premium, big, like the Galaxy Z Folds. This is more a rival for the Galaxy Z Flip. It's a more feminine phone and as you can see it uses this uh, round circular external screen and this circular camera. The, um, I would say, pattern here is akin to the leaves. This is the gold version of the phone and it's inspired, I would say, by a cigarette holder and also by the organic leaves. We have a premium version here, as it's written on the box. Uh, it has 12 gigs of RAM and half a terabyte of storage, premium gold. Now, the regular version is 1,250 euros. This is probably closer to 1,400 or even more. We're quite excited to use it. It's actually, I think, my fourth or maybe fifth foldable phone, I would actually say sixth. I've tested so far the first Galaxy Z Flip from Samsung, Galaxy Z Flip 5G and Galaxy Z Flip 3, then the two Motorola Razr phones. So this makes it the sixth clamshell foldable phone I've handled over the past years. Let's put it at the side for now and see what's inside this special box. First, a message from Iris Van Herpen. She's a Dutch designer who handles haute couture. I recommend you check out her works on Google. They're quite fine. They're usually uh, dresses which are combined with high-tech stuff. That's the niche she's attacking. And here we have a key used to access the slots. Here we should also have documents and a case. It's a test version so those aren't present in the box but you may and probably will get them. This is a review sample, that's why some accessories are missing. But luckily we do have all that's needed here. When I said all that's needed, I was actually reminded by the uh, house music hit. The one that says, all I need is your love tonight, you probably heard it. And this is the charger, it's a Huawei Supercharged 66 watt, excuse me, 40 watt charger. I got accustomed to using a Huawei Mate 40 Pro. Once again, Huawei Supercharged 40 watts USB -A connector. And the cable which goes from USB-C to USB-A. Quite long. Okay, that's about it. That's everything available inside the box. I'm actually pretty curious about the case we didn't, got, we didn't get. So that's that. Uh, once again, uh, I love the pattern here. The whole pattern we can see here is applied on the dresses made by Iris. And also on the case of the, uh, well, phone. Okay, so Huawei P50 Pocket Premium Edition. Now, aside from announcing the Huawei P50 series, Huawei decided that they wanted more. They wanted a foldable phone, which can close up like this. And of course, the external screen is fully usable for the camera, for the weather, and there are a few other widgets, uh, including a calendar, a music player, and a few more, which I'm getting accustomed to. Now, there's another interesting thing here. We got here a spectral camera. It's also, also including a fluorescent camera, believe it or not, which I find to be very funky. Uh, aside from this model you can see here, which is imprinted by leaves. This is the gold one. There's also a black one and a white one. The white one imitates, I would say, small uh, rom-shaped pearls or something like that. It's a 3D micro sculpture inspired by nature, basically. Now, I'm not very sure what the materials uh, being used here are, but I'm definitely sure this is metal. So the core frame of the phone is definitely metal. This is probably a sort of glass or maybe plastic. I'll have to look into it, but I'm definitely loving what they're trying to do. It may be too much for the non-fashionistas, but at least it's different. It weighs 190 grams, it's 15.2 millimeters in thickness when closed up and 7.2 millimeters when opened up. Now the hinge is uh, more similar to the one which we saw on the Galaxy Z series, Z Flip, rather than the Motorola Razr. And if you're asking me, uh, do we actually see the part which is uh, flexed here. If you look closely, uh, let's also access our website. 
I would say that the answer is definitely yes. Well, it is visible, the crease that the screen makes. Uh, it's not as easy to feel as the one from the Galaxy Z Flip series. And once again, pretty visible once you start to fold up the phone. And also visible if I turn up the brightness, which I feel that it's uh, bright enough so far, it may disturb the camera. Okay, so we've talked about the design. Uh, I should mention once again 190 grams in weight, quite easy to handle and very pleasant to hold in the hand, even though it's quite long when opened up, but when it's closed up, it fits in your jeans perfectly. Okay, so the screen. This main screen, which you can see here, is a 6.9 inch OLED, 2790 resolution over 1188 pixels and 120 hertz refresh rate. Also 300 hertz touch sampling rate, which is nice for gaming. Close it up and you're 3D to the second screen, which feels like it's maybe recycled from a watch. This one is a um, OLED as well, 1.04 inches. It's a bit on the small side and uh, I should probably also mention that uh, it offers 340 over 340 pixel resolution, 60 hertz refresh rate, doesn't get uh, bigger than that. And um, it also provides, well, 328 PPI. Now that we've covered the displays, it's time to go inside the phone and see what we're dealing with here. Um, the processor is a pretty powerful one, however, this Snapdragon 888 is the 4G version, not the 5G one, on account of the restrictions which Huawei has to face. Uh, and also we're getting quite a lot of RAM, 12 gigs and half a terabyte of storage, no micro SD. The battery is a 4000 mAh unit with 40 watt charging and also reverse charging for some reason. We have dual nano SIM car slots here, we have Wi-Fi 6 connectivity, we have 5G connectivity, there's Bluetooth 5.2, USB 2.0 at the bottom, the port here, and NFC as well. We should also have a GPS dual band, GLONASS and Beidou, and here in the device plus section, you can actually hook up all the other Huawei devices in your house into an ecosystem. By the way, we're running on Android 11 and Emotion UI 12. You can probably tell that from the interface, it's actually pretty similar to what you're going to get on Harmony OS 2.0. And I actually checked out the speakers, I was pretty curious. We have uh, one here and we also have one here at the top earpiece and we do have a stereo experience, which is nice to see on this handset. Okay, now I've taken a few pictures and you can check them out here and I can already stop, start talking about the camera. But before that, here you can see the power button, which embeds the fingerprint scanner. Now speaking about the camera, the selfie one here is a 10 megapixel shooter, actually 10.7 megapixel shooter with 4K 60 frames per second video capture. That's the main camera. If you go to the back side, it's an interesting setup. 40 megapixel camera, it's a true chroma camera, 13 megapixel ultra wide camera and a 32 megapixel ultra spectrum camera. It's a spectral camera with f1.8 aperture. There's also a special laser autofocus sensor and the LED flash with, which embeds a fluorescent light, which I look forward to showing you. I actually haven't seen that before. You know, the moment when you go to a music club and you're at the entrance and all your teeth and clothes look white, that's a fluorescent light. And you can activate it from here, fluorescence. You can probably see it here being or mauve and lit up close to the flash area. Okay, so with this fluorescence, I actually played around and I have a few shots. It has to be total darkness, so you can actually use it. And you can see your nails being whiter and your teeth. In full darkness, you'll be able to see your smile just like I did here. So that's what the fluorescent light is doing. And these are various clothes around the house. And once again, I can easily compare this to the lights at the entrance or inside a music disco nightclub. Okay, we've covered the camera and its special features and we also have special modes. So if you want to see the interface, we have a pro mode, we have the video. I'm pretty impressed that you can shoot 4K 60 frames with the front camera, photo, portrait, night mode, aperture. And aside from those, there are the more section, slow-mo, panorama, monochrome is actually pretty fine. It produces lovely results. AR lens, time-lapse, stickers, documents, dual view, high-res, story creator, snapshot. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Uh, once again, there's no Play Store here. Just so you know, we do have the Huawei app gallery. 
and uh, this one lets you use tens of thousands of apps quite a few of them you can also use the curve pay application for nfc payments you've got ride sharing apps you've got food ordering apps you've got uh, banking apps you got video games and what have you and the other ones well you can definitely replace them and for example gmail will be found available in your email app from here and you also have a petal search which will complement your well searches online will also aid you with finding apks and provide you with news information about your flight and so much more now this is pretty much it with the Huawei P50 Pocket Premium Edition. I'm actually, I'm actually loving this phone more than expected. I'm intrigued by the fluorescent camera. Now it feels maybe slightly wider than the Galaxy Z Flip. That's my first impression. The crease is pretty much the same. And this uh, dual circle approach may entice some people because it leaves quite a bit of room for this lovely pattern here. And that's pretty much it as far as the first impression goes. Let's see the price before properly judging it. We'll be back with more pretty soon. Bye-bye.